The mayor and the MTA are calling for change after a teenage boy died while subway surfing. They say that social media is partly to blame for this alarming trend. CBS News' John Diaz joins us live near the Williamsburg Bridge in Brooklyn where that boy was killed. John. Chris and Mary, good morning to both of you. And Mayor Eric Adams asking for help from the national government on this one, saying that often at times, younger generations, you know, teens, they see these things on social media and they duplicate it and they need to be aware of how dangerous that could be. Mayor Eric Adams pointing the blame of a dangerous subway surfing trend on social media, a stunt becoming increasingly popular with the younger generations. Some of these sites, they're, they're more addictive than drugs. People can't get off them. And you start duplicating this behavior. He even thinks leaders in Washington, D.C. should get involved. So and President Joe government Biden government. should set up some sort of committee to analyze the negative impacts of social media. I think the national government must come in and say, what is the corporate responsibility of social media? And I'm just surprised this hasn't been done. Locally, Adam says he plans on launching an awareness campaign about the dangers of subway surfing. The push comes after police say 15-year-old Zachary Nazario of the Lower East Side died Monday night when his head struck a beam and he tumbled onto the tracks. They say he was subway surfing across the Williamsburg Bridge, an idea he may have got after seeing it done on Instagram. This was a really a terrible, tragic incident of this young man. Back in December, another 15-year-old died after subway surfing in Brooklyn. And last August, a teen lost his arm after doing the same stunt in Queens. While the MTA doesn't have exact data for just subway surfing, it says the number of people riding outside trains has skyrocketed over the years. Going up 500% last year alone, from 206 in 2021 to 928 in 2022, citing a noticeable flurry of social media buzz with kids and teenagers posting surfing videos, copying each other, trying to get viral. The CEO of the MTA is now imploring social media companies to take down the videos of subway surfing, saying this at an MTA safety meeting yesterday. This is something nobody wants to see. A 15-year-old kid just breaks your heart. Um, so uh, we got to keep pushing. Social media companies, it's not news to anybody or not, always uh, focused on, on discouraging reckless behavior. Now, the MTA does prohibit passengers from traveling outside, from climbing out inside those subway cars and using those end doors from passing from one car to the other unless there is an emergency. We're live this morning from Williamsburg, Brooklyn. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.